Have you produced audiobooks through the Audiobook Creation Exchange platform? Are you looking for a simple way to increase audiobook sales? Then you'll be surprised in what I have to share with you about how to increase audiobook sales today. Stick around. Welcome to Self Publishing with Dale, and if you want practical strategies and solutions for do it yourself publishing mastery, then subscribe and hit the bell icon next to it to get notifications on all my latest videos. Have you published an audiobook through Audiobook Creation Exchange? If so, what are your thoughts about them? Is ACX good or bad? Leave your thoughts in the comments. Recently, in my video about the pros and cons of ACX, I shared my open thoughts about the online distribution platform. It's no secret how I'm always looking for ways to increase sales on my current crop of titles, whether on ebook, paperback, or audiobook. Little did I know I was overlooking one super simple component related to my ACX titles. A narrator for one of my titles, Pam Rossi, reached out to me and shared relevant news about optimizing my titles. And I'm so surprised I missed it. In the article, How to Choose the Best Audible Audiobook Categories, ACX explains how every audiobook can have up to three different categories with over 200 to choose from. This should have been obvious to me considering how Amazon allows up to 10 categories per print and ebook publications. I even covered how to add 10 categories to your books in these videos. How does this relate to increasing audiobook sales? Well, if you categorize your book in the right place, then your audience is more likely to discover it. That's why it's critical to any book's success to feature it in any relevant category. How do you add your audiobook to the right categories? Select the three categories you would like, along with corresponding subcategories, and email your selections to support at acx.com. Include a link to your audiobook's Audible page. ACX further states that the request must come from the email associated with their ACX account. I made the mistake once by placing a request in an alternate email, and they rejected the request for that reason. Keep in mind, these categories will be for the Audible listing only and won't change the categories for Amazon or iTunes independently from Audible. I reached out to Amazon about changing or adding Browse Pass to the audiobook listing on their site and was forwarded to the ACX team. It appears like there's nothing in place yet to adjust these settings on Amazon. Now, will category additions or changes make a huge difference in how you increase audiobook sales? Uh, that's certainly up for debate, but I do have a way you can kick up your sales and increase reviews. And you won't believe what I share since it completely defies everything I've shared about getting reviews for your publications. However, I'm going to save that for another video for another day. That's all the time we have for today. And remember, if you liked what I talked about, then share it with someone you know who will enjoy it too. Till later, this has been Self Publishing with Dale, and I'll see you guys soon.